Chuck says, okay, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna play it like a real game. We're gonna play four quarters. You had me, Scotty, Mullins, Bird, and Patrick, and Magic had his five. We weren't gonna change that team at no point in time. You got your five, I got my five. We gave them the college guy. You can have Christian Lakner. We don't want him, you can have him. He's just over there waiting to tag in. But it was, it was about, about pride, and the college kid couldn't help either one of the team. Michael Jordan called Clyde out and went at him. Tell him, this is what I'm gonna do to you. Fall away jumper, good, what did I tell you? So I said, no Clyde, you better get him back. You better get him back. Charles Barkley said, I wanna take Carl Malone now. So Charles gets it, fall away jumper, good. I said, oh no Carl, you gotta get him back. You better go down there and get him back. Carl went right at it, jump shot. You ain't nothing, you ain't nothing, Barkley. So then I came down. His energy is real high. He feels like he's in an opportunity to prove himself. Showcase that, hey, look, I'm still Magic Johnson. We st I still dominate this game. Magic, same. You ain't the guy. You got other players in this in this gym. Doesn't take much to get Michael gone. Just a little something to tweak him, and it's on. He never liked to lose. Mike always got that look. When you see that look, then you know just give him the damn ball and get out of the way. As much as it was five on five, we could see in Monte Carlo that it was gravitating towards, okay, Michael and Magic. Magic was hesitant to surrender his place on the mountaintop. And Michael being Michael, he needed to say, no, I'm on the top of the mountain now. Magic's saying, look, NBA's not yours yet. I'm still here. Michael's like, no, it's old. This is, this is mine. And the funny thing was Larry was, he was sitting on the side going, it's his. <laughs> Chuck realized the competition aspect was getting a little bit too high. Everybody on our squad. He wanted to end practice, but Magic didn't want to end. He wanted to keep playing because he just kicked his ass. How you like that ass kicking we gave you? No, 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 no. Come on now. Well, Y'all got the first, first quarter of practice now. Yeah. By the time practice was over, even Magic had to acknowledge. Basketball's landscape will change forever. Larry and I were talking, and Michael walks in, and he says, there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> and we both hit each other like, well, he's not lying. <laughs> Monte Carlo was kind of a turning point. Walls started to come down from, you know, when you're playing against each other, you have these rivalries. These were my teammates now. They're guys that, you know, that I'm looking towards for support. It seemed like we became more friends than anything else. Talented player in the NBA, by far. A type of player that can go to another level anytime he wants to. Probably the greatest player in the game right now. Bryant farewell tour stops tonight Sorry, in Charlotte. Uh, I just want to congratulate you on unbelievable career. I think uh, when I look back, and the first time we actually played against each other in the competitive drive that I saw within your eyes, even though the knowledge wasn't quite there yet, um, it was very invigorating. And I'm very happy to, to, uh, to leave you this message to say how much, you know, we are very proud of what you've accomplished over the years. Uh, the most people don't realize you were drafted by Charlotte Hornets, uh, so that, you know, connects us with you. Um, I've always been, you know, like a big brother and you like a little brother. We communicate all the time. I just want to say congratulations. Your, your next step and your next career is going to be something that I'm pretty sure you're going to have to figure out, you know, from a competitive standpoint. I'm pretty sure you're just like me. Uh, uh, you're going to have to find other ways to utilize that competitive drive. But I want to congratulate you and Vanessa and the girls. Uh, you've been a big help to the game of basketball. You helped the NBA. You, uh, you helped promote it. I'm pretty sure you got a lot of fans all over the world. Uh, I am a big fan. I still love watching you play. 
I'm, I'm very, very uh, happy for you and what you have accomplished within the game. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you do next. If you ever need me, you know my number. Let's stay in touch. I wish you the best and have a great game tonight. Not too good of a game. Uh, but I want you to stay healthy. As I said a couple weeks ago, it's your last year. Just have fun. Take it a day at a time. Enjoy it. And look forward to seeing what you do after this. You know, that, that's why the fans compare him to Michael Jordan. This is a patented Kobe Bryant shot. Did he get it from Michael Jordan? Oh, yes, he did. He's chasing Michael Jordan on the all-time list. He is in hot pursuit. Mr. Jordan, the all-time scoring list. Say the Lakers are family. How close to the family are you right now? Oh, extremely. And I always will be. I mean, I always said, my, my, if you, you cut this arm open, man, I bleed purple. <laughs> That's never going to change. Okay, how close are you to the newest member of the Laker family? Well, he's part of the Laker family. All right. right. So, um, I, I, when he first came on board, I said, listen, is there anything you need? You are now family. You're part of the tradition. So if there's anything you need, just let me know. Has he needed anything? No, I think he's fine. <laughs> All right. You write in the book about LeBron James. The main thing the two of you discussed is what constitutes a killer mentality. What was your message to him? Well, it, the message is always to go out there and dominate. Right? You, you, there's no let up. Once the game starts and once the practice begins, you know, you're in that mode. You know, everything's a game seven approach every practice every game with that kind of mentality and it bleeds into the rest of the guys and then the rest of the unit has that same approach that same intensity when it starts at the top yeah, chicken skin on my head. <laughs> all right you also said when it came to contact you enjoyed hitting and getting hit more than lebron and that impacted your head-to-head -head matchups how so well i love posting up i love the physicality of it where you know he liked playing on the perimeter more which is interesting, because he's 6'10", right. 280, but he like being on the perimeter. I like being down low, and I like banging. So when I get down to the post and I would post him up, I'd love to put my shoulder into his chest. I'd love to feel, you know, spin off of him and kind of work that way. Um, and uh, as he kind of grew older, you start seeing him go in the post up more and bang a little bit more. Um, but when he first came into the league, man, he's just like dancing around on the perimeter. Jerry passed the torch to Magic. Magic passed it to you. Fair to say you've passed it to LeBron? Well, it's funny. It's none of them passed the torch to any of them. <laughs> right? like, it's a, it's like, a figurative it, torch. Yeah, it's a figurative <laughs> torch. Like, you know, Jerry was here and the magic came, and right. now you have the responsibility and the pressure of the franchise, which is an immense one, right? And you got to win. And then uh, you know, I came on board with Shaq, and we were able to carry on that tradition. And, uh, and then with Powell, and, you know, and now it's Bron and Kuz and you know, Lonzo and you guys, and it's their turn to do the same thing in England. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of pressure, but this is... This is what we do, and we don't hang division band. People judge a book by its cover because they don't know that person. He's definitely somebody that you could be around all the time. He's actually <laughs> 35 years old. <laughs> and he's been on this earth longer than people think he has been. That's where that's come from. That's wisdom. We both have the same passion. We just show it in different ways. He takes off like he's jumping off a trampoline off of one leg. I mean, it's the most ridiculous one leg takeoff I've seen. It's crazy. I got a screensaver for you. LeBron James. No, he did His mid-range jumper is by far one of the best, you know, that we have, if not the best that we have in our league. Two dribble, pump fake, reverse spin, shot. Bryant spins, puts it up, puts it in. Yeah, I watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I study it. <laughs> oh, you like my look? Hey, I should tuck my shirt out, shut that Kobe Bryant look going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, non stop, though. You know what I mean? Like, it don't stop. <laughs> Go, Phil. <laughs> Go.
Hey, hello, come on. <laughs> All that means is get the hell out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad though. That's who he is, man. He just he just loves having a great time, laughing and joking. You've been tricking me in my years. I figured it out now, Cole. You better change your signal. I figured it out. Uh huh. I show. I show. Yeah, I already told you the thing. There's a mutual respect that we have for one another. It's that level of respect that enables us to perform at a, at a high level when we compete against each Automatically, it automatically makes you better. LeBron hanging on the ball. Nine on the shot clock. He's way out on the left wing. Goes to the line. Goes to the line. Goes to the hole. Left hand in your face. I'd be disrespecting LeBron if I didn't compete and go hard at him. Colby right corner, jab steps on James. James knocked it loose. Colby recovers. Three to shoot. Colby backs him down, spins. Buries it. A thing of beauty from Bryant. You're making each other better, and it's the respect factor that we have for each other. But at the, at the end of the day, we're all ultimate competitors. And you get revisit the game. There was a moment with Luca, and he told us prior to the game, he said, I won't compare myself to LeBron, but he was the man I watched. So can you describe that just brief exchange with him and how good he was tonight? I mean, you never know who you can inspire you know, along your path, and you hope that you can inspire the next generation. And and for me, by me playing the game the right way, always getting my teammates involved and playing for the purity of the game, I was able to inspire a kid that wasn't even in America. And, and, and that's pretty special. And, and obviously we see what he's capable of doing, his ability to make plays not only for himself, for his teammates to rebound and just play for the pure love of the game. Um, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from...
is something you will see. I think that's very fair on your part. Doncic, he got it! Get it back into the arms of Luka. James isolating against Doncic, a bomb, Cupid! LeBron James is delivering! He's had an answer tonight. Gets the switch onto Luka. He's, he's looked so confident.